Hallelujah. What is the word for today? I'm, I'm, I'm caught off to the God here. So, so y'all got to bear with me. Pray with me. We come to a strong revival of the Sons of Thunder on last week where Elder Cedric Clark brought us whoo, four mighty days. Hallelujah. And I thank God for him sending us, he coming and blessing us in the manner that he did. I don't Amen. want to forget to mention him Amen. for his tremendous work. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Amen. I'm going to find something in here to speak on. Thank you, Jesus. And what I've been Spirit of God been dealing with me with in this last few days is hostility. Thank you, Jesus. Why is so much hostility, hatred, and such still in the world? And we allow it. Our first lady just spoke on it briefly this morning. She said she turned to the news, she flipped to it, and we see him raping, we seen the ISIS going around, and we seen, you know, she said this way before, I acknowledge it, I noticed it, she said, man, these folks are killing folks in fold and fives and six, not just one person anymore, and it began to, it was dealing with my heart, and, and we are kept under the grace of God from all of this hostility. As she said today, it had to come near us. A thousand had fallen at your right hand and ten thousand at your left hand, but it didn't come nigh thee. That's enough to stand up and give God praise. If you really know what time it is, you will give God praise. The Paul never said, Let's turn to it in 2 Timothy in the third chapter. Ah, my God, my God. Help us today. And I'm going to almost say a little conclusion of the message before we get in thinking about it. Somebody said peace today, didn't they? Somebody was teaching about peace today. Don't we need some peace? We need that prince of peace to come in us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Give me one moment. Are you, are you all right today?
Can you recognize what time we're in? As we sit here being comfortable. This message is a sin sent to you to make you uncomfortable. Knowing what time you in. These are the last days. Can we see the signs? You can turn on the news at any given time. And they interrupt you with some bad news. Something that's happening next door to your life. Happening at your neighbor's house. You got to be watchful in these last and evil days. Don't go to sleep on the now. Wake up, church. Last and evil days. Why is it that pride is on the rampage? And we can't listen to the word of God. It has no, no purity. We don't have no effectual anger for it anymore. We want a feel-good message. Uh, we want to heap ourselves teachers with itchy ears. Yes, yes. Look, we want to go to the one that tells us what we want to hear. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. You don't want to know the truth. Uh, mm -mm. Come, on, mm. Come on now. It's perilous times. Perilous times. Why is it so perilous for us in these last days? There ain't no peace. We hus hostile peace. Mm. As we like the days of old. Yes. Cutthroat. Yes. Mm. Cheers. Yes. Deceiving. Amen. And deceiving one another. Yes, that should not be. Yes, Come on now. Yes. Where are we going to find trust that anywhere? Yes. Mm. Uh, I'm bothered. I don't know about you. Yes. What are we going to do without Jesus? In these last and evil days. Some want to count them out. That's a, just a figure of was. But I hear in the scripture. You say he is. And was. And is to come. Now these last days. That, this is the same thing that was approached. When John came on the scene. This is Jesus' cousin's John the prophet. He said, before I come and smite this earth with a curse, when the house is divided, when son will be against the father, right. father against the son, yes. mother against the son's daughter-in-law, and such, bad days, bad days, mad days, <laughs> when we come to this day. It was such in the days of John. And unto when he first called the scene and to this day. Nothing changed until Christ was introduced to them. It was the same bad evil days until Christ came on the scene. Preaching the kingdom of God. Huh? I want to preach to you that kingdom of God. Yes, God. Where you can have hope in it. Come on, yes, There's a place yes. of refuge. Yes. Where we can run in yes. and find safety. Yes, Come on, yes. Yes. I'm looking for a place of refuge against yes. that evil day. Yes. I got to run in to find a place of refuge. Yes. Oh. Oh. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, is nobody safe out here in this world? You gotta find a place of refuge. The only refuge is in Him. He is the only door you can run in and find safety. He said He'll be a very, very present help in a time of trouble. Ah. Now, now, now. These are the days, and we need a fresh anointing. We need the power. Of the Holy Ghost to fall within us. Hallelujah. That we might be able to go toward into this untoward generation. Not being conformed to what they are, but being transformed by the renewing of our mind. 
We can win this battle with God on our side. Hallelujah. With the blood of Jesus covering it, we can win this battle. Even though he say, I see you. Hallelujah. Into this world like sheep in wolf territory, you know, into a hostile situation. I still be with you. I'm going to cover you. I'm going to protect you in this hostile situation. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. For the Prince of Peace will be with you. As you go through in this world. As you go but you're on these jobs when you don't know who's going to nut up on you. You don't know who's going to go post up on you. Somebody got to bring some peace in the situation. Good God Almighty. Am I right about it? You don't know when you're going to the mall. Hallelujah. Shopping, going about your daily deeds. What nuts going to come in? But somebody got to be able to bring some peace in the situation. When you, cut, when you take Jesus with you, you bring in peace into the situation. Hmm, am I right about it? Uh, I know sometimes coming from the hoods, we have to fight our way out. We have to do what's ever necessary to get out of the mentality of you know, survival, so to speak. You know, it's a hostile situation if you ever been down to the lowest part of the ghetto. It gets a rough. The lower you go in the ghetto, the rougher it gets. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Yeah. When folks are lacking this, they're going to take from you. That's right. That's right. They're going to be hostile towards you. If you bring something, even if you bring something in, you want to be nice and share it, they still be hostile yeah. towards you. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. They want to take, take it. it from you. Arm, you know. Yeah. Back, back in the old days, it was by sword, but now it's by bullet. That's, That's right. Jack here, so to speak. Yeah. It's a hostile situation. And we there, we want to get out of that. And it's all a mindset. Mindset. And then sometimes come with the territory of just being poverty minded. Right. Yes. And this is some of the things that poverty brings. It brings criminal minds. It brings hostility. It, it brings the you know they want to take and still ask for something. Yes. The moment you you can't go sleep at night. I walked through a, 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 the hood the other day and all, I, when I rode through it, all I seen was burglar bars on the doors, mm -hmm. on the windows, yeah. you know what I mean? But it, these people don't have much. Mm -hmm. Why do you got to protect? We ain't got nothing. Uh -huh. you, you feel me? Uh -huh. They in the worst hostility situation. They got bars over their windows, bars over their doors. and. And they, you know, the, the, the car they're driving is all broken down, though, and they got to wash that. That's right. <laughs> what's that? That's right. That's right. Uh, you, you, you look at you, the, the old uh, fable of Robin Hood, and when he had to go to the rich, steal from the rich and give to the poor, you know. Right now, the trains and the buses and stuff don't even go to the affluent neighborhoods. They try to keep that out. And bless us, us black men. Huh. It ain't over for us. We have not arrived. No, we uh -uh. We're looking at statistics in other states. You know, this is a, we're in the blessed part of the country in Atlanta, Georgia area for us, a black man in the United States. We got more privilege than a lot of other outskirting states and cities. But we still have it rough here. We have to change the mentality of a people who who always setting us with a, a what they call an imagery that you're gonna steal from us, you're gonna kill us, you're gonna there goes the neighborhoods simply mm -hmm. yeah. that once you move in with all your money, but there goes the neighborhood, they quit, they try to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Something wrong with that. Yeah. I, no, I, I understand. The work that the bishop tried to put in me changes him mentality. Mm -hmm. Where folks don't feel that animosity between them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That they can walk among me and I can walk trustworthy. Yes. With some integrity. Amen. Amen. 
Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. They don't have to worry about something being taken from Amen. them. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is what they tried to put in me. I'm still working. I'm still working. I have not arrived. But God has opened many doors for me because of following the teaching of my bishop. Amen. Amen. He brought me in wealthy places because of driving out some hostility that I didn't know I had. I thought it was just normal for a black man to, to have to fight in him the way I had to fight in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. It wasn't normal. Amen. I didn't see it. I had to, I come from an area that you had to put them up. Had to be physical. This physicality come and attack your sisters. My sisters with fists putting your head through the wall and stuff like that. Because you won't listen because I'm the man. That's hostility. God got to drive that out. You got to give that man to church. You got to keep praying. You got to stay away from that. Stay, stay in this day, man. We got to go somewhere. We got to raise our consciousness to a higher level. Where peace reigns. Where peace reigns. Come on. Can I talk to you? Ah, terrible time we in, but this can turn around. It can turn around. Amen. Sometimes you have to put yourself in harm's way. You have to learn what Jesus said. When one man smack you on one cheek, turn it up. Easy to say. Easy to say to somebody open your face. When you have hostility, you want to get them out your face. Quick as possible. But this is what we must do. We must drop. Let God be our God. Can't defend ourselves. This is what we need to talk. Even when we're right, we have to learn to apologize anyway. Brother, I'm sorry. Sister, I'm sorry. Yes, I don't want nothing to come between us. I'm sorry. Whether you were wrong or right, I just got the same side. Drive out that hostility. Call them kids up. Say, I don't you know, I know I don't like what you did, but I'm sorry. I can't. It's no help to me if you are over there. That's right. Right. We got to get together. That's right. Let's have something together. Yes. Let's talk it over. Yes. Let's not talk about what right. drove us apart. Yes. Let's talk about the things that bring us together. Yes. Yes. When we drive out. This hostility. Mm -hmm. Peace come in. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Peace is another word for prosperity. I yes. talked about that last, last time I spoke. Mm -hmm. But until we get this hostility out, mm -hmm. till we get peace to come in, our pockets are going to remain smoking. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. Come on now. Brothers and sisters, we can do this. Mm -hmm. We love one another. As the scripture has said, if we can, we would, the love is not do any harm to one another. Don't do no kind of harm at all. Not even to your enemy. Don't do no harm. Don't do no harm to nobody. Neither in thought or deed. We'll prosper. We can get to that point. Lord, give us strength to do this. Amen. Make a turn. Let us be an example All right. of what the word says. Yes. 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 Brotherly kindness. Can we deal with that? Yes. Can we be kind to one yes. another? Yes. My vision is to can we be sweet? Yes. Uh, that was the word sweet. Can we be sweet? Yes. Uh, he had to ride me a long time. Because of my anger. Thank you, Jesus. Am I right about it, Bishop? I'm telling Thank you. Jesus. I ain't going to stand up here and tell a lot. Tell me about it. <clears throat> I got to run myself. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's a 
said, I ain't want to care. That's why I'm mad, because I ain't want to care. Because <laughs> uh, I was blind. I couldn't see like he see. I couldn't see what it was doing. You had to keep reminding him. Still with that. And he did it in a sweet way. Amen. He wasn't demonstrative. I mean, some of the feet said, brother, you got to get rid of and all that. Yeah. No, he was real sweet about it. Right. Uh, Made me really consider what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So it don't take all the jumping around for me to bring a message to you Thank to be watchful. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. All this hostility comes from self-will. We want to be in control. Yes. Amen. We want to be in God's place. Yes. That's right. Mm. So yeah. That's right. Put that self down. Lift up Jesus. Put him up on the high place. Come down off the throne. We can work together when peace reign. We can get some things done when peace reign. Right? But we ain't so much worried about ourselves. We worry about the mission with God put us on this earth. Mm -hmm. We need help. And people in the world need help. We're going to impact the kingdom. We're going to turn the sinner into a saint. We're going to impact this world. And I'm going to practice what I preach. Yeah. Huh? Might not get there as soon as I need to get there. But today is the day it starts. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Practicing yeah. what I preach. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah. Thank you, Give praise Thank you, to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy. And the third chapter tells us a lot of things that's going on in the world. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And yes. our conclusion goes back to the Old Testament. And I thought on this. Have the question. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, yes, yes. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I really my brother's keeper? Mm -hmm. Does the responsibility watching out for him fall on me? Yes. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. We are our brother's keeper. Yes. We are our brother's keeper. Keep us in the way. Keep me in the way. When I fall, pick me up. When I go off to the left, right, put me back on the right path. Thank you, Jesus. We gotta become that. Amen. In this day and time. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear. No. Might as well be right. They ain't gonna want to hear. Mm -hmm. Gonna get demonstrative in your face and on half and talk, but we still gotta do it. That's right. Yes. If the man of God hadn't done it with me. The world would have been advancing. That's right. Because they would have one more criminal mind out there. <laughs> one some over there. Now he saved a lot of you by saving me. Yo, bro, yo. No, the best thing he did to do for you is put me on his side. <laughs> God of mine. I thank God for this opportunity. Hallelujah. If we got something today. Hallelujah. Let's praise God for what's to come. Hallelujah. I see the vision. Yes, yes. I see the Lord high. Yes. 
and lift it up. Yes. And it's to rain fill the temple. Yes. Hallelujah. Can you get that vision? Beautiful vision. Hallelujah. And he said, now, now, now. When the Lord the Father said, Lord, I'm a man with unclean lips. Yes. And I dwell amongst the people yes. of unclean lips. They don't know what they're talking about. They say anything. Can I get it right? Yeah. Can I get it right? Yeah. They say anything yeah. to belittle you, yeah. bring you down. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell you you can't make it. Yes. Yes. But I hear the word say, I can do all things. Oh, yes. I can do all things. Yes. Through Christ. Yes. Who strengthens me. Yes. Hallelujah. We can do this. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Then he said, now, he said, who will go for me? He said, who will go for me? Yes. Here am I, Lord. Yes. Send me. Yes. I'll go yes. into this hostile generation, yes. into this hostile situation. Yes. Send me. Send me. I'll go. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah. Feel like going, Thank preaching you. the gospel. Yes. But it's that only by the gospel is men's hearts change. That's right. We all continue, continue Thank on. You, Jesus. Being hostile and let the gospel get to them. That's right. Do you want to live in that world what Paul talked about? Mm. Mm -mm. Unless you get up out of your seat Thank and do something about it. That's right. Going in that world is coming. Those last days are here. But we want to push that situation back. We're going to send it into remission. Thank you. Thank you. Tell the truth. Come on now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to fire you up, church, for what's coming. Thank you, Lord. Your church is going to be on the rise. Thank you, Lord. A working church. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm about my father's business. Come on now. We're going through a series of putting on the armor of God. Yes. You can't just go out in this hostile situation without the full armor of God. That's right. Everybody put on your full armor. That's right. Which was uh, given in uh, Galatians, no, uh, Ephesians, 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 six times. Thank you, Jesus. Put every part on. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Not that you're going to fight a physical fight. That's right. But it's a yes. spiritual warfare going on. Yes. We're in it. And I'm sad to say that a lot of it look like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look just like you. Right. Look in the mirror, your, your brothers in your own house, like, no. It's good when the warfare looks different. Mm -hmm. But when the warfare looks like you, it becomes difficult. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. See, that's what the devil does. He this operating thing is deception. He's going to camouflage, he's going to look like you. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Principalities and high places. Powers. Rules of this world. Come on now. Honey, I'm about done here. I'm about done here. I want your mindset to gear up. This these teachings and preaching ain't for nothing. That's right. Mm -hmm. They're for to get you prepared. Amen. Be prepared. Yes. The last thing I'm going to drop on you. Opportunity you. comes to prepare. Yes. Now, opportunity, it looks like hard work. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> A lot of us want to draw back now because it looks like it's too hard. <laughs> so we love opportunity to pass because of what it looks like. Yes, yes. It looks like impossibility yes. when opportunity comes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop this on you and I'm going to close. The sign outside is an opportunity. Yes, yes. <laughs> God put an opportunity on hold to see what you're going to do. As he did with Joshua with the children going into the promise. Yes, right. If you want it, I got an opportunity on hold for you. Thank you. Mm. Thank this is a little new thing in here. Thank you, Jesus. 
You got to think you can take this opportunity. Yes. Are you prepared yes. to take this opportunity? Yes. Don't, look, don't look at the price tag. Look at the God you serve. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's an opportunity. Yes. You got to take it. Yes. I'm done. Yes. Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes.